Welcome, everybody. As I said, once again, to the uh, Online Techniques Content Curation Workshop. This is our first live session, uh, and I'm really excited to uh, bring you this stuff tonight along with, uh, with uh, my partner, Don Legere. Um, we've got some really great information for you. Uh, I want to just um, alert you to a couple of things. We will be going for a full two-hour session this evening. However, um, we will take a break right in the middle of about uh, five minutes for a quick potty break and, uh, <laughs> you know, fill up the Coca-Cola glass and whatever you're drinking. Um, we will have one of those. And uh, we've divided this into two sessions. Uh, and the slides are available in the shared files folder. We've got some supplemental materials in there for you and the slides. Uh, that Don is using and the slides that I'm using. So, you know, what you can do is take notes. Um, also, uh, you know, you can get those slides. And if you can't get them out of here, we will make sure they're available to everybody in the Skype group uh, and in the membership uh, area of the website when that is completed. Now, this is being recording, recorded. And um, I'm also in the process of making some desktop videos to go along with this. We've decided to do this in a way that we're not using desktop sharing during the live sessions. Just because it's so iffy, we don't want to deal with losing a recording in the middle of it and having things shut down and all that kind of stuff. Um, things that sometimes happen with desktop sharing. So what we've done is design this in a way where uh, you can, uh, you know, watch the slides, and uh, we've done a lot of screenshots and things like that. And then we're going to do um, other videos that will be desktop videos that will do um, live demonstrations of what we're talking about here. And those will appear in the members area of the website as well. Everything that you're seeing will be tonight will be made extremely clear. You know, it, you'll have access to everything. Now, the members area is not ready yet. It will be ready over the next few days, and we'll make sure that everybody knows this. So um, let's get right to our first session, and the first session uh, is going to be uh, Don's baby, and he's going to be talking to us about the whole concept of curation later on in the evening. I will take you into the nuts and bolts of what we call manual curation. So sit back, relax, get your notepads going. Uh, and uh, here is uh, one of my favorite human beings and my partner in this endeavor, Don Legere. Have at it, Don. Well, thank you very much, Steve, for that warm introduction. Uh, welcome, everyone. Now, like I mentioned before and like I've mentioned a few times on Saturday morning trainings, uh, you know, content creation can really truly turn your business it can turn it around and it's all about you know getting involved get deciding what it is that you want to do and how you want to go about promoting yourself online and you know it's funny but when content became king marketers became publishers because uh, prior to having so much content online you know how did people go about getting their information well they either went to the library where they relied on the sales guy to provide that information for them. And usually after an individual has talked to about three or four different life insurance agents, they pick the guy they like and they go with him. You know, the way we used to market online, we'd, we'd put a product together, we'd put a web page together and we get out there and we try to sell it. Like using a whole bunch of outbound kind of strategies like, you know, Google. And, you know, we're finding now that in order to drive traffic to your doorstep, in order to find the sale, you have to become a heck of a lot better by finding that information so your people don't have to go look for it. And that's exactly what we're doing with curation. So there's this been a significant shift by you know marketers from going from outbound type of marketing strategies like you know buying ads in the paper, buying Google ads, buying Facebook ads. In fact, you know, 87% of marketing uh, teams out there are now using content curation as one of their top priorities in order to find those people willing to purchase their products or services. 
they are able to find and collect and put together information that is appealing and very palatable to the market that they serve. Now, in a world where attention has be become so scarce, to become as valuable as currency, and where quality information on a specific topic requires ever more time and attention to be found, the value that can provide those who have the ability to organize, select, compile, and edit the most valuable information on any one topic it is just, it, it will absolutely turn your business around, in other words. I want to show you a picture here. This is Steve and I. We've got this project going on. It's called Tips About Healthy Living. And the whole project is all about curating content in order to drive traffic to our website. And this is, you know, for people who are looking for health-related issues or problems they're wanting to solve. And, you know, this is an example here of a curated post that Steve put together that satisfies all the best practices possible in order to put together a, a product that uses third-party information where you're sitting in order to endorse your own product or service. You know, being a knowledge person is truly essential now in the marketplace. And it's good to get known as one of those knowledge individuals who are able to do that. 